Hello, welcome to my second tutorial for my series of understanding redstone. So, the last tutorial was the basics of redstone, if you recall. So, let's review some of that. So, this is a power source, a lever, which it's off when you place it. You can flick it on, off, and it'll power a redstone, which is a transmission component that goes there. And if the redstone is powered, it will power, say, a redstone lamp. Or a piston. And today we're go oh, going to cover power. Let me clear the weather real quick. Sorry about that. So when a piston redstone lamp is powered, it's on. So when the input's on, the output is on. Unless you put an inverter, which, well, we could go a little bit on them now powering a redstone torch so when you power reds when it when you sorry when you place a redstone torch on the ground regularly and you place it's on right because any redstone you place around it, it's going to power and can power for a number of blocks but there's a way to turn it off and that is by applying well redstone to it so one you can one way to do that is like this so let's place a red so it's automatically on right now let's place a redstone torch there well how about a lever yeah a lever that, that would be easier then redstone here when the lever is on the torch turns off and it also turns off red redstone that is there but when the lever is is off then that will go off and the redstone torch is on then it'll power this so it's on so that's basically that now let's get into the real power now there's stuff called direct power and indirect power but i don't want to get too far into that because i personally i think it's kind of boring but i have a great idea to finish off the episode and let you know but basically here i've laid out a redstone torch placed on a, on the top of a block a redstone torch placed on the side of the block a lever placed on the bottom of a I mean, so, sorry, top of the block, and then a wooden pressure plate. Oh, did that item despawn? I had an item on it. Sorry, let me just throw something or other. Sandstone. We don't need sandstone. So there we go. Let me get glass real fast. So what this glass represents is any of these glass blocks that I break, they, they will... The redstone lamp will be powered, but if I put it somewhere where the glass is not, it's not going to be powered. So this is a redstone torch on the top of a block. So it applies to any of these blocks. Let's try it on top, if I can even get up there. Okay, so that works. I'm just going to replace it with glass to satisfy my OCD. Okay, and what does this blue glass represent? Well, first of all, let's put a redstone lamp there it's not on then what does it represent it represents what some some people call indirect power it's not automatically on unless you place a non-transparent block adjacent to the redstone torch and then put the redstone lamp here yeah i know it is pretty complicated but glass is a, a is a transparent block which means light can go through it which so it doesn't count but anything a redstone lamp I was about to place my TNT there, but then it'll explode this whole thing. See, now when that lamp, not only that lamp is on, but also the other one is on. Yay! And it applies to anything. It's a piston. Well, a piston, not really, because it's not transparent, but... Anyway, it applies to any block. I don't have sandstone on me right now, but... Oh, I'm gonna have to get blue there. Sorry about this. Blue, blue. I don't exactly need a button. Okay, and here we have the lever, and the lever is on right now, and again, if we place, replace any of these with the redstone, just a sec, I have, I'm having to shift click here, it, it'll light up if you place any of these glass blocks with redstone lamp. Shift click again. Okay, so, and it goes the same with the when I'm pressure play, I have my sandstone there, and let's replace these with a uh, redstone lamp, and they all light up. Oh, I just got the sandstone out. Oh, that's why it didn't light up. I was wondering. It just despawned. I'm sorry. The this, this spawning, despawning of the items is kind of weird, but anyways, you get the idea. So, well, now... 
let's talk about different power sources. I'm going to grab a button real fast. I just put it away, didn't I? Yeah, I'm weird. So I got a button. And now let's let's talk about how power source works. So we're going to place a redstone lamp just because that's the easiest to do with, deal with. And then some redstone here connecting the power source with a redstone lamp. A redstone torch, it always is on. A lever, it's on when it's right click to make it on. Now a button, when you right click it, it goes on for a short a period of time and then the button goes off. You can make it quicker by making a certain kind of circuits. I think they're called pulse circuits, but we're not going to get into that. And pressure plates, when you stand on it, it powers. And let's try the daylight sensor now. How does this work? When it senses the sun, it provides amount of power. Now let me make sure this is set to peaceful so monsters won't spawn. Options, peaceful, good. Now, time set, 15,000. See, as you can see, now th now this goes off because it's not adjusted to the sun. Now let's set the time back to zero. Now it's weak going having a weak power, which is providing a little bit power here. And the higher the sun gets, it provides more and more and more power. So that's basically that. So I hope that covered the power well for you. It's kind of different kinds of power for a variety and I didn't really get into the direct power and indirect power well I did a little bit and it was kind of boring but yeah I think those are boring so I don't get too much into that but if you thought if you learned from this episode but you still thought it was boring well we're going to do something fun right now to close off the episode we are going to show you show you how TNT gets powered it's gonna blow something up it's going to blow this ground up now I'm going to put it far away from that so it doesn't blow up any of that so Let's put a lever here, some redstone connected to some TNT. Then with, what's going to happen is this is when this is on, this will flash white for a little while. Then it'll explode the ground around it, and it'll also damage the player if you're in survival mode. But let's try this. Oh, by the way, I guess I should say you can also activate TNT with flint and steel. But this is redstone, not flint and steel tutorial. Let's try it. It's flashing black off quick. Kaboom! A little bit of a lag there, but not too bad. Let me just collect all that. But anyways, I think that's it. Thanks for watching so much. I hope you liked the little thing I added at the end with blowing up the TNT. Although it was about power, I thought that would be kind of cool. But anyways, thanks for watching. Goodbye for now. Bye.